Hey guys, welcome back to Jumping Dash. Deadlocked. Last time I made 1% progress. Which isn't great. It's not great at all. It's pretty bad, but it's progress, so I was happy about it. Finger did not come off the button there. I don't know why, it just didn't. That was bad. Either way though, let's hope we can do better in this one. Like last time, I think we started off our first attempt almost making progress. But... I think I just accidentally did the wrong thing in a place and died quite late. Doesn't seem like we're having the same sort of luck this time, but that's okay, because it's still sort of a coin flip on this part. Just here. Like, this part is a coin flip. Like, I swear that time... That was awful. I swear that I, I pressed the button before I died. Like, it was one of the ones where I always say, yeah, it was quite obvious. For me, at least, because, like... I was pressing the button, constantly going up and down, but it, it wasn't going up and down, it just sort of went in one direction. That was horrible, that was just me. But yeah, like, sometimes I can just say for a fact that the game is being a douche. That was a bit douchey, but admittedly, I could have stopped that happening by clicking earlier. Just the positioning of that is douchey, it wasn't the game not working. Why do I keep just not clicking there? Like, it's on that one, my brain just, the finger keeps getting stuck or something. Like, I'm trying to press the button quickly, but I, my brain just can't, or something. It's weird. Like, I tell my hand to, my hand's just like, I can't do that, I am sorry. Have a nice day. Either way, though, we made it past the section for the first time in forever. La 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 la. Okay, isn't that a... Well, I can't remember what song that is, um, or what film it's from, isn't that... Yeah, it's Frozen. I just, I just had to think, because, you know, I haven't seen Frozen in quite a while, so my brain was like, which film is that again? You know? Like, I knew it was Disney, but I couldn't remember what film. Okay. My brain was torn between Frozen and, um, Tangled. God, that was, that was bad. I was earlier than I thought, so I, I did my, sort of, semi-late jump. As you could tell, that was that was that was mistake number one. I don't know how that one died. Oh well. But yeah, I I haven't seen I, did, I haven't watched a Disney film in quite a while. Like I can't remember the last time I watched a Disney film now. Um. Yeah, it, it doesn't come to br into brain into mind. Is what I was trying to say. It was either to, m to mind or into my brain. So I said it's not coming into brain. Which, you know, I guess works in that context, but it's probably not grammatically correct, but I've never really been one for grammar. It's like, well, if the person can understand what I was trying to say, I don't think I need to change my grammar. That death was bogus, thank you, game. Like, I knew it was going to be early and probably kill me, but it, it just still makes no sense to why it dies, because it dies on the top, which means it should be in the portal, but it doesn't die on the portal, it dies before the portal somehow, it doesn't make sense. It's weird and stupid, unless, like, the particle effect goes through it or something, but I I highly doubt that. Also, something just went into my left eye. That's not nice. <laughs> Apologies, that was a yawn that I covered up by going bleh. By covered up, I don't mean I was intentionally trying to cover it up, because otherwise I wouldn't have mentioned it. I wouldn't have said, hey, that was a, that was a yawn. It was just, you know. Instead, I just hear me go, <laughs> you know. Decided to spruce it up a little bit with a bit of a because I'm that kind of guy, what you gonna do? <laughs> it didn't jump, but I was through the portal when I clicked but it didn't jump, even slightly good job game good job like, it's, it's like Fortnite, like today games have been a bit douchey like, Isaac if you didn't see it, I, I was kind of not bothered, nothing happened in it all that happened is me getting a bit mad while trying to unlock a new character because uh, first of all my computer died while recording the daily and I was looking forward to the daily, it was a good run we were playing as a lot and I had a way to get extra points but the computer died so rip that so I decided to try and unlock a new character and yeah it didn't go well got about 6 billion space bar items which you know I can't take him trying to get a new character. I need to take another space bright so that's good. One second.
I swear I clicked so many times before I died. Like, by so many, I mean, I clicked before I died. I clicked to go up, let go, clicked again really quickly because I know it's a fast section now. It did not accept the input. Like, it's like this section when sometimes I say, yeah, I swear I did that thing. It was one of the obvious ones. How did I bonk? I don't even know. That happened to me yesterday as well. It's the only time this ever happened. But I'm alive somehow. But yeah, I, 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 I don't understand how I bonk to start off with, but also, yeah. It didn't accept my inputs because I'm I'm just saying I, I was pressing the button. I know that I have to go fast there. I went fast. It didn't do a thing. The inputs were just chucked by the wayside. The game did not care for them. Let's see if we can get back there and make the game take back what it has done to me. Let's hope at least. That was pretty clutch. Too fast. So close to progress. Like, that is tanky progress. That's further than I've ever made it in that section, so I'm counting it. Are you sure? Well, you better know that I'm counting it. But, God, that's a bit of a shame. It was just slightly too much clicking. Like, I was. It was good. I made it through. But I was clicking just tiny bits too quickly. Like,. It's, the endurance of doing those seconds is difficult. In these earlier ones, like here, you sort of get used to just pressing the button like two or three times. I, once again, it didn't accept the input. Like that one is easy. You just click and go up. But, well, the opposite, I can't remember which. Because I can't remember if that was the right way up or not. But still, it didn't accept whatever I was doing and died. Because the game is good. Yeah, it's clicking there. But either way, it didn't accept it. The input was just thrown away and told to F off. But yeah, oh well. Yeah, like I said, games have been a bit douchey. The only round that was good in Isaac was one with Magic Mush, and that round I got no freaking bomb to do anything with, so I had to just restart. Which didn't feel good. It was like, well... Rip the best chance I've had so far then. Ha ha ha, fun. But what I'm meant to do, man. I couldn't have kept going with that run. I had a task. I was like, Excuse me? What? Okay, let's just get, talk over what just happened. Came out of the portal. I'm intentionally, like trying to do my click as late as possible there so it won't just not do anything if I click early and it won't fling me straight into stuff if I do it just as I'm going through I wait and it's been making it way more consistent and I'm liking doing it that way that time I still did it late but it felt like I bounced off of something like just from how I was moving it went up as you'd expect but then it felt like it just went in a straight line when I wasn't pressing anything so then when I pressed the button, it just instantly died because it went too high. It's like it had leveled out by just running along a floor or something. Which makes absolutely no sense. So... There's that. That one I cannot explain, and that's one of the ones where I don't think I'll ever be able to explain it. Because that was weird. It's one of those inexplainable deaths. I don't think the game can explain it to me, but, you know, it is a game. It's not meant to explain things. It's meant to be like, yep, you died, you hit that spike. Took my finger off the button, then put my finger back on it to try and save it. But as you saw, it did not work. But yeah, the game's been douches. Like, I also played Fortnite for a bit. Don't know why, I was just super laggy. Nothing else was laggy. Like, I could use YouTube fine. It was just the game being laggy. And it was only, it only ever did it in ways that it would screw me over, like, my first ever bit of lag was in my first game, where I, I it was perfectly fine until a dude started shooting at me. And then it was like, okay, we're gonna lag for you now, good luck with that. So then my walls would place on a delay, and then I would just get hit a bunch. Luckily I killed him because I had two shotguns, he had none, so I felt bad, like, I always feel bad in those situations. 
But he was a good player. Like, he would have totally killed me otherwise, so... I give most credit to him. Jesus Christ, I'm alive. One second. Let's freaking go. I realized my mistake. I thought I might be able to slip past it because I got into a... I clicked and right clicked and it didn't accept either of them. Like, I, cl I held the click for like a tiny bit as I normally would. When I was not dead, but I also right clicked and it might... It seemed to cancel my input or something because it died. But I'm gonna blame the right click cancelling it or something because otherwise I don't know how to explain it apart from the game being a douche. So I'm gonna say it was right click and not the game and not me. Even though it's technically me pressing right click, but still. And that was the invisible wall issue on that section. But oh well, that's okay, we know it's there, it's my fault. But yeah, like, it only started lagging when there was a dude. Then from then on out, it was just constantly just being super laggy. Just constantly. Spoke to Andy about how yesterday, every time I seemed to get into a close range battle, I'd have a pistol and have a shotgun, and that, that very round, I found a pistol, someone ran up to me with a shotgun, and I died. I was like, see, the game hates me. The bullet spread is also massive douche, as per usual. Um, I ended up not playing it very much. I probably played like five rounds, nothing much else. Had one round where I got to top two, and I died because, once again, the game is a bit of a douche. And the fact that everyone playing seems to be a bit of a douche. Like, not intentionally, of course, I'm saying. That was... That was bad. It felt a bit off, but I, I think it's just because my input was so tiny that it just it barely affected the height and threw me off. God damn it. Yeah, and in that zone, like, there was two people left. Well, there was like four at one point, and then... Um, this, the person that won the game was shooting at someone. Don't know why that didn't accept my first input. But yeah, they were shooting at someone. I decided to take that opportunity to get into a better spot. And then they start shooting me. I'm like, but you're in the middle of a fight. Who just shoots at someone and then starts shooting someone else mid-fight? Which felt a bit rude. Even though, you know, they are trying to kill everyone, but still. Felt a bit mean. Like, I could tell they were going to win quite early on after seeing like what they built and how they were playing and stuff. But yeah, rip me. Then there was someone on the mountain next to them, because they started off on the mountain and they eventually went down the mountain, and I realised it when they had built a tiny little sort of safety thing right next to me. I was like, oh, ball bags. Well, that's bad. So I decided to peace out. The other guy on the mountain started shooting at me, the other person started shooting at me. I was like, really? Do you all have to shoot at me at once? Eventually, like, I didn't realise the other guy died because um, the person that won ended up sniping them while they were, like, aiming at me. Like, they could have both just easily sniped each other. Because when I went to the replay, they were just both aiming their snipers at me. I'm like, I'm behind a wall. Why do you both have to gang up on me? It was a bit rude. And then, yeah, it was just one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't realise at the time. Don't know why I didn't click there, that was super bad. But yeah, it was a one-on-one, -on -one. didn't realise it. They built a thing above me, I stayed where I was. Ended up hiding under my base because they were on a little hill in front of me. And the way they played and the way they built, I knew I was no way I was going to get up to them at the time. Like, if I built ramps up to them, they would have been able to shoot at me because it would have been that kind of angle. So there was no way for me to really climb up to them. I know if I tried to climb to them, they would have then built to me. And then it would become a, it's just a ridiculously annoying shotgun fight for the win. So I just stayed where I was. They came over to me. I saw their build. They destroyed a trap that I laid down. Because, you know, I was terrified. And then the lag kicked in because... It always did it in situations that would screw me over, or whenever I landed for some reason, one second. Wow. Held the button as soon as I came out of the thing, and it was still going down when I let go. That's why I don't like that section. Like, I've gotten used to it, but it doesn't do what it should do by my standards, at least. 
it's a bit odd. But yeah. I then, I was just watching them on their build. Like, just from, like, peeking around from mine. Heard them drop, even though I was looking at them the entire time. Didn't see them drop. Did not see them drop off at any point. And then I instantly got shotgunned and died. So they won because I couldn't see them. I also couldn't hear them. You know, that's the lack of headphones screwing me. But that's... Yeah, you know, I was gonna say it's my fault, but you know, when you don't have money, surely it's not really your fault, it's just, a, it's more of a choice. I have money, I could get some, but I'm choosing to, you know, use that on more important things than something for a video game, you know? But either way, I got shotgunned in the back of the head, or in the front of the head, so in my face. But when I was looking up, I could see if they would jump off or not, but they didn't jump off on my screen. And when I went to the replay mode, because Andy also wanted to see the replay, because she didn't know how the other person died either. Because like I said, we didn't see the other person get sniped. Didn't even freaking hear the shot. But, yeah. Didn't hold the button. Didn't hold the button. Yeah, I, I didn't see him jump off, and in the replay they clearly jumped off, and I'm like, but, but you didn't do that on my screen though. So, thanks, video game. You're real good. And like I said, from then on out, every time I landed, it would lag. Like, it wasn't consistent lag either. It wasn't just like, it was constantly a, a bad frame rate. Not frame rate. Um, a bad ping. But my ping would just randomly just spike from like, okay, yeah, it's like 30, which is decent in my opinion. And then it's like, BAM! Have this frame rate. Or frame rate. Have this lag, and it would go up to like 500 plus. It really sucked. So, I've basically just decided now if it's not going to be fixed just not play it until stream and if it happens on stream I'll either make a short stream or then just turn to Isaac or something because the game they've, they're making it worse as it gets older like I said it's what happened to the other game I used to play the other MMO it, they just keep adding stuff it makes the game fun in some regards, but worse than a lot of others. So, yeah, I, I want them to fix that. Like, one where I landed tilted towers. Got a shotgun. I saw a shotgun on the roof that someone else was gonna get. Decided to wait for them. Saw them. Took some shots. And one, Like, the only shot, in my opinion, that missed is the only one that hit. Like, one of the shots that missed, apparently, was a 67 damage headshot. But... It didn't hit him at all. It wasn't even slightly on him. It's just because I was lagging that it hit. And then every other shot that I landed just did no damage because, you know, I was lagging and then I got killed. Which, you know, felt real good because, like I said, everything else would work perfectly fine. Like, the internet was fine. YouTube would work perfectly. Everything else that I use the internet or use with the internet worked fine. Jesus. I thought I was already dead. Everything else worked perfectly fine, just Fortnite. So it's, it's the servers that were dying, not my, not my end. Which sucked a lot. So I just decided, you know, let's just leave it till it works. So I'll be trying it each day, as always, to see if it's any better. If it's not, I'll probably just say, you know what, nope, that's just going to sit over there. And yeah, have fun with that game. Because, you know... There's no point, like, it's like when I didn't play the game and it was super laggy, even though for some reason it was installing Payday 2, even though I never installed it, it never started it. It just decided to do it on its own and caused lag for no reason. I decided not to play that entire day. So I thought, hey, what's the point in playing if it's going to lag constantly? Even though I somehow managed to get three kills in my only game, which I still kind I still kind find a funny. No, I still find kind of funny. There you go, that's how the English works. Is how it works. God damn it. But yeah, it was not good. But I'm hoping this game's gonna be nice for me today. Cause it's been okay so far. There's been some moments of idiocy. Well, idiocy on my part and stupidity and just jank on the game's part of just stuff not working at all. Which isn't my favourite. It's not. But it's okay. We all 
power through. Why is it? Why does it just get super framey? Exactly what happened yesterday. Whenever I clicked, it would get super framey, but my mouse was not off of the tab. Because if my mouse went off of the tab, it would have clicked on something that didn't even jump. What is wrong with me? But yeah, if it was on a different tab, it wouldn't have jumped at all. Or wouldn't have lagged. It would just probably gone to like Internet Explorer. And by Internet Explorer, I mean Google Chrome. What is wrong with me? I keep jumping in all the dumb places. Yeah, I would have clicked on something else. And wouldn't have just made it go framey. So, I don't understand. I don't understand where all this is coming from. What song is that? It's not... Um... Learn to Love Again or whatever it's called that Pink did with a different person back, like, years ago. I can't remember. All I know is my mum really likes that song. I can't remember. Now I don't understand where all this is coming from. Do, 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 do. And we can learn to love again. Yeah, it's that song. I remember when I first heard that song, and probably for the first, like, ten times I heard that song, I thought it was just a woman singing. And apparently, no, apparently it's a woman and a man singing. Also, I was on that platform for so long, and it didn't jump. Yeah, I'm gonna die after this. I just needed to freaking scratch my arm. Jesus Christ. Like, my right arm. This time, I'm not gonna just mess about. Oh god, smack my mouse. Yeah, this time I'm not messing about. Yes! I'm not messing about wasting attempts, he was gonna say. And he succeeded, even though that was in a really, really dumb spot. It was just one of those itches that's like, you need to scratch me right now, or you are gonna freaking lose your mind. So I decided, let's not lose our mind. Let's scratch it. Let's do what the body tells me to do. You know? Because it's my body. It should, it should really listen to me. Or I should really listen to it, really. It's, if it's like, yeah, I need some meat, I should say, okay, give it some meat. Give it that protein. If it's like, yeah, I need some veg, give it some veg. Give it some fruits. Get other stuff. I didn't ask for fruit. Shut up. It's good for you, okay? You need it. You need it. But, oh, bleh, that was bad. Bad. But, yeah. Today was not the best day for eating healthily, I will admit, because, you know, I did have McDonald's. But, shh, don't tell anybody. Even though I don't think anybody would care, but still. It was nice. It was good. It's nice to have it every once in a while. Admittedly, I think I'm going to be having it on Friday as well, which, you know, not the best to have it twice in a week. Oh, that was bad. What day is it? Is it Monday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm trying to work it out. Like, it's the 15th right now, which would make it Tuesday by my hypothesis. Because it's early morning. So then, Wednesday, 16th, 17th, Thursday, Friday, 18th. Yeah, I think it is a Tuesday right now. So I had it on Monday. So there's five day difference ish. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well, it's a four-day difference. There's a three days without it. Which sounds much worse, but still. I'm sorry, okay? I forgot. It was a forgetful moment. The reason I'm having it then is because I think that's the day me and Andy are going to go see Deadpool 2. Because, like I said, I want to see that film. And Andy wanted to do something on the 18th anyway, so... Besides, let's just kill two birds with one stone. You know, let's train fares that way. Because we do not live in city, as we've said. Or as I have said. That was awful. That was absolutely horrible. But yeah, we do not live in city, which is nice. Because it means we're not got have constantly listen to heavy traffic. And, you know. Nice, quiet community. No constant like, well, alcoholics and drunks and drug addicts everywhere. Admittedly, when I did come home from Annie's today, there was someone on the other side of the road. Didn't even notice them until I crossed, but then I heard them cross, so I looked forward, I was like, oh, there's a person. Then they crossed the road, and when I got into their path, because they were wandering past me, and they, I then realised why they probably went to the other side, and it's because 
when I walked where they had been walking. Jeez, the smell of drugs filled my nostrils, and I was like, freaking hell. That is the strongest drug smell I have ever had into my nose, and it was not good. You know? One second. Like, I don't want to die early from some sort of lung cancer, because some selfish people decided to, you know... I thought that was it. I didn't think I needed to go anymore. I've got to let go one more time. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, I don't want to get lung cancer because some selfish person that doesn't care about their lungs or money or just anyone's health is smoking drugs. But yeah, they were smoking drugs. And people in America were like, what's the problem? Is you illegal? Blah. No. Like, sure, it's basically like cigarettes. It's bad for you, but addictive people can still buy cigarettes. But doesn't make it good for you, does it? And drugs are worse than cigarettes. Much worse. That's why cigarettes are legal. And the other thing is not. Like, if cigarettes suddenly became illegal, I'm pretty sure people would have a freaking heart attack. And there'd be a lot of, like, rioting and so on. From people that have freaking addictions, you know? Like, if I was, like... The Prime Minister, I would personally want to make it illegal to have cigarettes. Like, in this country, I don't know if it's the same everywhere else. Like, on the pack of cigarettes, it has, like, pictures of, like, this is what can happen to your teeth, this is what your lungs would look like, hey, uh, this is, like, you're killing your children, and stuff, and it's like, yeah, you know this causes, like, 9 out of 10 lung cancers in the smoke? Like, it's all over the pack, it's like, stop smoking, or you'll die. It's... There's like the frick when the freaking pack of whatever you're buying is telling you you're gonna die if you use me, you probably shouldn't use it. Like, think about it this way. It's like bleach. And no, I'm not trying to make a joke about her. Oh, yeah, it makes you want to drink bleach. Like all the internet memes. It's because I find that freaking stupid. Like the Tide Pod thing. It's like, why would you put a freaking cleaning product in your mouth? You stupid teenage people that just want views and popularity. Have fun at the like poison treatment clinic thing that happened and whatnot to make you feel better after you put freaking toxic things in your mouth, you idiots! God, I will never understand teenagers in this generation. But either way, like it's like drinking bleach, but not in the memey way. It's, it'll say on the thing, yes, of course, huh? I'm trying not to put on skin or put in eyes or drink or put anywhere near any orifice on your body. And then it's like, well, cigarettes are basically the same, except, you know, slower effects. Because bleach is, it burns, you know? Bleach is, is irritant. And, you know, Drinking it will get it straight into your system, but smoking will get not necessarily straight into your system, but some of the smoke goes into your system, and then some of that just lies there in your lungs, and it's not good. And that's why, if you smoke, you have a high chance of having lungs that look like prunes by the age of like 30, depending on when you started. Your lungs look like freaking pensioners when you're not even like middle-aged. It's bad. Plus, like. One of the biggest reasons why I would never smoke, apart from like, you know, the waste of money and whatnot, is just because it's so selfish. Why should you get to smoke? Like, why should you waste your money and your life on smoke, or like, on cigarettes and everyone else's? Because you're not the only one inhaling that smoke. Everyone else is inhaling that smoke. So, it's just, to me, really selfish. That was, that was surprising what happened there. It was bad on my part, but it blew my mind what happened. But yeah. Please, if you're smoking, work on quitting. Do what you can to quit. This is like serious advice right now. This isn't me being like, oh yeah, you should know listen to me. It's one of the moments where I'm like, yeah, maybe listen to me. 
sure maybe you have an addiction to something, you can get help, okay? You can get help for the addiction, maybe go using it as, well, I don't know, some sort of a um, depressant, you know, like some people turn to alcohol if something bad happens, or if they get sad they'll turn to alcohol, or some people turn to, like, food, and then, you know, they get a food addiction, food habits. Same with, uh, same with smoking. You can get help for that, okay? You can get help. It'll save you money in the long run. And it'll save your life in the long run. So, do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it just for anyone on the street. I don't know why I died there. That was, that was me being super bad. But yeah, just do it for your family. Do it for just anyone on the street. Because think about it. An elderly man could walk down the street with a lung condition. Or just breathing condition or anything like that and you could be the cause of that guy's death and sure if you're only super selfish people like that i'm not just saying anyone that smokes is selfish by the way i know i said it feels kind of selfish to do it that's a personal thing i'm not saying you're necessarily being selfish but people that just don't care about the implications that it's doing on everyone else because a lot of people smoke just think about like well, I don't think about it a lot, but if they think about it, they'll probably be like, Damn, this is not good. I want to quit, but I can't because it's so addicting. But the people that just don't care, like, yeah, it doesn't matter to me. It's one guy who cares. No. Screw you. You're a horrible human being. Why, why are you essentially paying for that guy to have an early death? You know? You're basically paying for you and that guy to have early deaths. And all because you don't want to get rid of your addiction. It's not cool. It's not cool. Like, you can tell it's, I'm passionate about this stuff. Because, you know, my mum smokes. She said she was going to quit. Uh, probably like three or four years ago now. She said, yeah, I'm going to try quit. But she hasn't even tried. She has a habit of saying things and never trying it. One second. We should be okay as long as I don't screw up like last time, which was really bad. Shouldn't have survived. Slived? Survived. Don't know how it died there since my finger was not on the button when I died, but... I should have died before then, so I guess I'm kind of okay with it. That's how it works for me. It's like, yeah. I'm okay with dying there because I should have died beforehand. Don't know why I tell my brain works, but it's just how it works, man. Leave me alone. Yeah, I... I, I I care about smoking stuff because it's bad. Like I don't care about it in the good ways, and by good ways I mean I don't think it's a good thing. I just I care about people to smoke, and you know I don't want I don't want other people to, to smoke. It's bad. Like it's the sort of thing I want to not be legal. But as much as if it was legal, more people would want to do it. God damn it. How does my mouse keep ending up in the bottom left when my mouse is not moving? The easiest way for it to move is up and right, which is the opposite direction. <laughs> Makes no goddamn sense. But yeah, like... I I think I have family members that have just... They have died from lung conditions and stuff. And, like, lung cancers. And it's like... It sucks. And then some of the other family members are still smoking. It's like... Why? Why? It's not good, like... I remember once when my mum... Uh, fell down the stairs... At her job... Um... She had to go to the hospital for it, because she... I can't remember what happened, I think she like... Hurt her... Shoulder and arms, because her shoulders are really bad as it is. And, well, she fell down stairs and stuff, and whatnot. And one of my old, well not friends, but one of the people that used to go to school with me in my year, or grade for Americans, um, was there because she worked with her and went with her, and so did my neighbour because he also works with my mum, as a carer for the elderly, so, you know, smoking bad for elderly, as I've been saying, but the friend from school was also smoking, like, at a point she'd be like, yeah, I'll just go go outside to have a cigarette, I'm like, but you're not old enough to buy cigarettes or to smoke them, 
What is wrong with you? Like, she had clearly been on it for at least a year. Like, just how casually she said it. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna go outside for this because, you know, cravings and whatnot. I'm just like, what? What? How? Who gets you these? You can't buy these. It's just so stupid. Because at the time she was probably like 15, maybe younger. Which, in Britain at least, not old enough to smoke. But a lot of people in my village do these. Sometimes younger. I remember there was someone that Andy used to know that we saw, which is younger than me, that was smoking at the park. And we were like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why? Sure, you want to fit in, but why turn to smoking? It's so dumb. Like me and Andy, when we took uh, Kitty to the vets the other day, when we were at a train station, waiting to go back to her house, uh, there was these three teenagers that came along, because it was just after school hours, and they are like, oh, we got to come up with an excuse to get on the train, because they'd spent all their money on cigarettes. And I'm like, you're not old enough to buy cigarettes. How did you just buy them? How bad are these shopkeepers? Also, I just jumped and it didn't do anything. Good job, game. I jumped three times. So I hit the invisible wall, jumped again. It did, did, it did nothing. So, yeah, good. But yeah, I don't know how they managed to buy it because they were still in high school. That is not old enough to buy cigarettes. Yet they had done the cigarette thing. It's just, I don't understand. Pardon me, like, I'm not old enough to buy cigarettes, and they had bought cigarettes. It's so dumb. At least I don't think I am. I might be. Who knows? But it just, it's so, so stupid. So, so stupid. And we end up just talking to the um, people on train, like, saying, yeah, by the way, these three teenagers, they're, they don't have money for the train. They just bought cigarettes, so have fun with them. Sure, that's being a bit of a tattletale, but still. I think they deserve it. I remember some of the things I came up with were so stupid. It's like, yes, we're foreign exchange students from Germany. I'm like, you don't sound German even slightly. You're not German. You're clearly just a jav. Jesus Christ. Sorry, the, these sort of people just really annoy me. It's like... I don't see what is wrong with you. Seriously. Like, just, just, just why? It's so annoying to see this generation just slip away and to who's the coolest because who can drink the most. And like, the entire time they were talking about like, oh yeah, if you, you know, done the baby making process with this guy and this guy and this guy. So apparently you've done it with all these people, and she's one of them. She's like, I don't remember. I was drunk. I'm like, you're younger than me. You cannot buy alcohol. You cannot buy cigarettes. Yet you apparently use both, and you can't even remember that you did the thing. Which means you were probably heavily drunk. You have no memory if you did or not, which means you should not have been doing that thing. Or you could have just gone pregnant underage, and for Americans, the age of consent in this country is 16, and you're going to be like, oh, that's crazy, and I'm like, well, you know, what, what you going to do about it? I'm not saying that in a bragging way, you know? But still, it's, it's just so confusing. It's so confusing. Because, like I said, they were younger than me. I'm old enough, but they were younger than me, and I'm. And the, by the sounds of things, they'd done it a lot before, which just sounds a bit like, yeah, they've been doing this a while, meaning they were probably one, maybe two years underage, which would make them like 14, 15, when they, you know, did the do. And were drunk while doing it, so they can't remember who they had the do with. It just is so ludicrous. And we were just sitting in the, like, the little shelter bit by a train station at this point. And they were just openly talking about it. They were just 
They didn't even care. I was like, why? I'm so confused. Like, they were just on the other side of the thing. Probably like, ten seats away. Just having a, a little girly gossip with one dude, of course. Just smoking and saying like, yeah, I don't remember. I'm like, what? I, I don't understand, okay. That's the end of that subject, but it's just so, so stupid. What is wrong with people this generation? I just freaking hope they did it safe, because otherwise if they had a baby, that would not have gone well. And I feel like those would be the kind of people to abort. Which I don't agree with, unless something traumatic happened, because I don't like the word. Sorry. Damn it, that was dumb. But yeah, it's just so traumatic happened, or like, early stuff like that. But if it's like that, and they they did the thing, they weren't protected, and they were too young to do it, and they were just like, hell yeah, let's do this, because we're cool. And then, oh look, a baby. Then I, I, part of me is like, you don't deserve to have an abortion. You don't deserve it. You need to go into this thinking, okay, not really protected, I accept the consequences. Because... I think it should only be for people that need it. Because it's technically murder, in my opinion. Like, I'm sorry to all- like, it's, it's a delicate subject, because sure, it's- Like, part of me saying, yeah, they should probably have it, because, you know, they're too young. So they can't look after the baby, they don't act like they can take care of the baby, they're not mature at all. Like, they don't care. But... Like... I, d I don't agree with the baby dying, you know? I don't see why the baby should be born to the world just to be taken away from it. Like, sure, maybe it shouldn't be born to this world where everyone is like that. It's so stupid to have it have that happen, but... I don't know. I don't know. I just think it should be used for people that need it rather than idiots like that that think, hey, this is a smart idea. Because it's really not. There's some people on Earth that really desperately want their own child and they can't have it. And there's people like that that are just like, yep, taking the risks and then they get a baby. Like, they didn't get a baby, of course, I assume. Unless it was so recent that they're now, they've now conceived the baby. But still. You know? They, they do this thing and then if they happen to be like, oop, there's a bun in the oven. My brain's harshly saying, yeah, you, you have to deal with that now. Deal with what you created, you know? Support it. Get a job be a good parent because you know if you're not being good to yourself you need you owe the world something like that okay one second it was going so smoothly that was going so smoothly I don't even know how it died I'm, I'm still going to say we made progress in this video, as much as there isn't a number behind it. Because... In my opinion, that's still progress. I don't even care. Do not even care the littlest, tiniest, babiest bit. D didn't jump. Didn't even, didn't even care. Not a care in the world. Yeah, feel free to rage on this video and dislike it all you want because I talk about subjects you don't like and oh abortion should be a thing it's mother's choice yeah sure your, your choice that's that's your opinion there's many opinions on the subject that's why I didn't try and go over it for too long it was just my opinions on it I'll leave it there and I'm not like if this video gets like really popular and it gets like 10,000 dislikes I won't take away the dislike bar, just to say, like, I'm not the kind of person that's in YouTube for the likes and dislikes. I'm not, like, a freaking, like, person on, uh, 
what's it called? Instagram and Snapchat. It's like, oh yes, give me all the followers for my faith. I don't care. I'll leave it there. And then if people watch it and see, ooh, that's a lot of dislikes. Let's see what that's about. I'll just be like, yeah. Hi, future. If that ever happens, 99% of that will never happen. Like, that's not even me just bragging. Like, yeah, it's never gonna happen. And it does. It's like, oh, look, I called it. I genuinely don't believe it'll ever happen. So, you know, may have a blessing in disguise. But like I said, I don't care if I get the dislikes. I, and I won't take the video down if it gets taken down, then sure, but, you know, because YouTube is extremely dysfunctional at the present moment, well, has been for a while, but still, like, I'm going to just leave the video up, no matter what, because, like I said, I don't care, this, this video here is, a, is, is my opinion and my point. And I'm pretty sure I've got it across in kind of a maybe a harsh way, but it's what I believe, man. It's what I believe. But anyway, this is the final attempt. I filled dead air with some of my well passions, I guess. Even though it's not really a passion to talk about that. It's more just sort of my opinion on how the subject should be dealt with, rather than just people taking it for granted that they can just do that after you know doing the thing without being protected and there's some people like i said that just really what baby they can't have it and they're extremely sad because of it but anyways that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed hope you still enjoy the series i know i do i apologize so much and i'll see you guys next time see ya